know, I know. You going my way? <laughs> Get enough zinc on me? I might have went overboard with the zinc. <laughs> we need to clean the hull. So we've just come around to Naihan. There's, the water here is a lot clearer than where we were in Chelong. Growth happens really quickly here in Thailand and the bottom looks disgusting. So she's got a beard. She's got a lot going on down there. She's got my gear and it's jellyfish season. There's like tons of jellyfish in the water and I'm gonna be focusing on what I'm doing rather than my surroundings. So got my uh, stinger suit on. <laughs> Woo! All right. We may need the hood. This is the most important part because there's so many like critters and creatures that'll be living in that, the stuff that I'm scraping off the hull and so they just go straight into your ear holes. Can't say for me. Oh, I don't miss South Australia winters <laughs> at all. I'm ready to go. Good work, mate. Initially jumping in to only clean the prop, I was overwhelmed by the state of the entire hull. Until we can haul out and reapply antifoul, for now I need to jump in with the jellyfish and clean. The growth on the bottom slows the boat down, so scraping off the barnacles and the growth will allow us to sail up to an extra knot faster. Tomorrow we're departing on a 250 nautical mile round trip sail down to Langkawi, Malaysia and back again. Unfortunately, our time in Thailand is close to an end and before we head into the boatyard, we need to do a visa run. Bonjour, je m'appelle Bonita. We're sailing to Malaysia, which is a country that we have been to before, but we're getting the boat ready to cross the Indian Ocean. Across the Indian Ocean, there are many French speaking countries. And I think it is a really important part of traveling to try to learn some of the local language, which brings me into the sponsor of this video, which is Babbel. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world. It helps you learn a new language through real life conversations. Oui, bien sûr. Je m'appelle Maris. The lessons are designed by real language teachers. So by the end of this, I'm not going to sound like Siri. I'm actually going to sound like a person. Enchanté. Je suis bonita. I feel like I'm picking up French very quickly using this app. It's already starting to sink into my mind. I love that when using Babbel, once you learn a word, the next lessons are also integrating those words that you've already learned. So it just reinforces what you already know and creates a repetition to let it really sink into your brain. Je me sens plus français chaque jour. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you learn a new language in as little as three weeks. So I have a few months left to learn a little bit of French before we get to Reunion Island. So I am intrigued to see how far along I can get with my French before we get there. Babbel are currently offering 60% off of subscriptions if you use the link in our description and also in the pinned comment. Get on board and try it out. It's really easy to use and you do learn very quickly. Let us know in the comments what language you want to learn and why. Au revoir! We've been practicing our letters, haven't we, Lula? Yeah. And we're, we're learning how to trace letters today, aren't we? We're doing our V, W's and X's. We do X-ray. Yeah, that's X for X-ray. We should do this again. Hmm. we do this one. You want to do these letters? Yeah. Okay. Let me try that one. This is the letter. See the elephant. That one's E for elephant. elephant. Yeah. It's hard to colour in when you've got a wobbly pen, hey, Lula? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I know. See the pen's wobbly? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. It's a wobbly pen, hey? Yeah. Gonna try, see if this one's a wobbly pen? Yeah. <laughs> wobbly, 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 wobbly. <laughs> it's wobbly. Is it? Yeah. It's a wobbly pen, is it? Whoa. The 
forecast for the trip south was light and variable winds, so we are expecting to have a pretty uneventful 24 hours at sea. The most challenging part about doing miles these days is no longer the sea conditions and weather, but more about keeping Tallulah entertained along the journey. She's a bundle of energy and has a very inquisitive mind. Therefore, we have a bunch of games to play to help keep her busy and that little mind stimulated at sea. Okay. trips to Langkawi, it's not just about doing a visa run and the need to get out of Thailand. Langkawi serves its purpose in being a tax-free island. I'm sure I've spoken about this before. But being a tax-free island means you can get imports sent to us here for free. No import fees, no tariffs. But Thailand have like a 30% tariff. Indonesia, at least 30% if it reaches you. So here in Langkawi, it's a really good spot to get a lot of stuff sent to us. And how we've been working on the deck, one of those things to finish off the deck is a whole heap of corking. Got some sausages to pick up, hey? Got a pallet of sausages to pick up, hey? Right? <laughs> like, a couple, I mean, like, there's a small pallet waiting for us, the email says. Let's go a check it pallet. out. <laughs> this is so good. I'm like, this is the finishing touch to the deck. So, when we go up on the hard stand, we'll rip out all the corking and sand it. Putting in this new corking by Tick Decking is just like, the final, the final touch to make something absolutely Wow, it's a lot of corking. Thank you. Wow, that was heavy. and I also picked up a parcel that I've been dying to get but I'll get back to that in a minute. Some of the other things we got besides food was uh, fishing lures. Josh has lost a few redheads along the way recently and we don't have it. We've got one manky one left so um, yeah we've got three redheads. These are Josh's favorite lures but this one I've been dying I've been dying to get this. So what is it? So it's a bait it's a toddler backpack hiking carrier. So Reunion has lots of waterfalls and hikes and stuff like that that I'd like to do, at least some of the easy ones anyway with Tallulah. So we've got a hiking backpack. We'll just see how it goes, but I'd like to try this then just miss out on hiking. Getting ready for the backpack. Careful you don't fall over. <laughs> Trying to give that a go, Lula? Here it is, and to jump in. Okay, I'll put you in. Yeah. Up the go. All right, look at that. Arms in. That's a bit cool. <laughs> that one, one side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's that? It's fun. <laughs> Should we go for a hike? <laughs> <laughs> this is hanging off the back too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, got the backpack. Come in here. Let's go, Wow. <laughs> well, I think you? this is a win. Yeah. Oh, that was a bigger winner than we thought. Yeah. Anyway. That there clips in. There you go, and tuck that out of the way. It's also got a sunshade here as well, which will go over the top of Tallulah's head. So she'll be in the shade when we're walking. Look at these little feet stirrups, hey, Lula? Yeah. Nice big strap. That's a bit firmer on the hips. That's better. <laughs> good? That's good. Check you out, Max Chillin'. Woohoo! I got this from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link and it's got all of our um, gear that we use and that we like as well. So you can go and check it out and see what we recommend. I think this is a win. 
The cockpit cushions are pretty filthy, so we're gonna give them a scrub and utilize the water that we have here while we're in the marina. Got my little helper here, got our scrubbing brushes. Hey, Lula. Hello, hello. Got yours? Hey. All right, let's uh, clean these up. Josh has got his hands full here with the boat work and we are getting in the way. So there's heaps of waterfalls here in Langkawi and we've got the new backpack too. We're going to test this out for the hiking. So Tallulah and I are off on an adventure. It is the dry season so I don't know how fresh these waterfalls are going to be but there's only one way to find out, right? Oh, but mommy, stop that. He likes that, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah and he likes a little scratch here behind the ear. Yeah. Hi guys, have fun. Right, let's go, Lula. <laughs> <laughs> That's your new bag, aren't they? Just remember that Tallulah will be in there. <laughs> right, let's go, Lula. One job I've wanted to get done for a long time was, you know, we did all this upgrades to the electrical system, installed the Multi Plus, put all new buzz buzz in, new battery bank and all of that sort of bizzo. But I've been thinking about it and, you know, there's two battery banks, each one only has one cable. So I feel like uh, here at the shunt, you can see there's two cables attaching to the shunt. I feel like if I put a, another negative buzz bar before the shunt and then attach that with a buzz bar, got some, uh, copper strip here installing the multi plus into this cupboard where the previous battery charger was you know when we first did it, a few people said you know careful because multi plus runs pretty hot and it does when it's under load say when we have the generator running uh, and it's charging uh, it does run quite hot and so I want to install a little fan inside that cupboard to push air into the cupboard and out through the vents just to help with circulation to help with the cooling of that i did use the recommended gauge size cables for the dc output of the multi plus that goes into the switch into the battery bank um, but i also noticed that when the multi plus is running hard like that and charging those cables do get a little bit warm and so i'm just going to bulky them up as well just to help with current put another buzz bar in from the switch uh, where there's cables just to shorten that length because there is high current because it's only 12 volt. Just a few little upgrades just so I feel super safe and sweet about the power and don't have to worry about anything overheating. All right here we are at Temurum Waterfall. I'm not sure how much walking wow. we got to do but off we go. <laughs> hey. You like it back there? Yeah. So there's not a lot of water flow here. We'll just Go further upstream and see what's going on. Wow, here's a waterfall. First waterfall, what do you think, Lula? Yeah. <laughs> Not 100% convinced there, Lula. No. You want to go to a different one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're going to a better one now, aren't we? I read this thing the other day that said, it's just another day for us, but for your kids, is their entire childhood so we just try to make every day count every day some kind of activity something awesome that happens a quick cookie for the next one <laughs> nearly ready to go mm -hmm. all right well as you can tell from looking around the saloon and the boat that i've definitely managed to make a mess <laughs> But we also are making progress here. So I've got this other buzz bar up. I've made one cable, of course, I didn't buy enough cables. This extra cable is like 200 mil short. When you're dealing with lithium batteries, it's important that all cables are the exact same length. Um, yeah, so I need to go get some more cable. I've made up these little homemade buzz bars. It's taken a fair bit of back and forth, of course, to get these shapes, but we've got these shapes, calculated, made, precision. So that goes onto the shunt to the buzz bar. So we just put them all that together and then we are finished with the negative side. We're at waterfall number two. This is called Talaga Tuju. This is the Talaga waterfall. Hopefully there's a bit more water here than the last one. Go up to the waterfall. You can't get what? Uh, I'll be get. Hi, hi, and hi. 
I'm just thinking of those Sherpas on Mount Everest. <laughs> I have no idea how they do it, eh? I've got full percent oxygen here. I just can't imagine how hard that must be. We made it to the top, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty view. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, we've had a swim. We've given you some time to do some work, so I think it might be time to head home. Yeah. Yeah. Had a big day. Yeah. yeah. Back down we go again. It's really nice to be able to swim. I wasn't sure how much water would be in there. So yeah, it was nice. Pulled down. Had a swim. Hey, Leila. We've just cleared out of Malaysia. We're going to set sail first thing tomorrow morning and we've got about half an hour until the shops shut here. We're gonna do a bit of boat shopping. Yeah, so to, to get stuff here like um, paints and anti found stuff, you save about 20, 30 bucks a tin. Because the boats are a bit bigger these days, we needed an extra tin or two here and there. So, yeah. you know, instead of having two tins, we now need three, potentially four. So that's still a couple hundred bucks in our pocket rather than spending that money in Thailand. Yeah, so we're gonna pick up some ship spares, some paint. Yeah, so we need anti foul, um, some other clear varnish, clear coat stuff, and prop speed, and mm. yeah, those sorts of things for the hull. Be good to be prepared for when we yeah. go in, we don't have to try to hunt around just for just really anything. need to try to minimise yeah. how much this is costing because it yeah. is pushing it. All right, well, we officially have a V-Berth full of crap again. A lot of this crap is good crap because it's all for the boat yard. So we ended up getting, you know, got some anti fowl here, a new little hand palm sander for the deck, 30 bucks, can't go wrong. All that corking, which is a great little pickup in a collection. One of the main reasons why we come down here. Got a corking gun. Probably should have got a pneumatic one for the amount of corking tubes that we got to go through, but I guess we'll be giving the old hand a workout. Oh, a little bit of miscellaneous like tape and those sorts of things, stuff that's just saving a couple of bucks by purchasing it down here in, in Malaysia rather than buying it in Thailand. One nice little bonus we did find as well is that this brand Antifow that we used last time, it's called Chigoku, which is, uh, it's a Thai brand, but they also have a factory in Malaysia. Uh, it's probably the best anti foul that we've actually used, to be honest, since we've been in the tropics. So, big fan of it, so we're going to use that again. For the capping rails, we're going to paint them. So, we'll sand back the capping rails and put a polyurethane coat on top. And so, we were going to buy standard expensive marine stuff, but then Chigoku, we find out, do a polyurethane clear gloss finish as well. So, for the price of 300 ringgit for one litre, for the expensive, I'm not going to name the brand stuff, uh, instead, we're use, getting five litres for the same price as one. So, Chigoku, hopefully uh, as good as your antifoul, mate. It's pretty much all the same stuff anyway, isn't it? Just with a different brand labelled on top. So, mate, should be good, eh? <laughs> it's just for the capping rails and like, it will be high gloss, shiny finish, looking great. But, uh, you know, the capping rails is an area that we're actually going to have to do some attention to in the future, just like the teak deck. It, they were never, they were just left exposed to the sun. So. Just gonna use this tiny bit of tape to cut the boat a bit and yeah get ready for tomorrow 